Hi everybody, Dr. Mike here. In this video, we're gonna take a look at the conduction of the cardiac system. This is the electrical current that moves its way through the muscle of the heart, the myocardium, in order to tell it to contract. Now the first thing you need to remember is that heart muscle is specialized. And when we look at it under a microscope, all the heart muscle cells are connected to one another like this. And they've got these little gaps between. Now this is important because what you're gonna find is that these cells, like any excitable cell of the body, like neurons for example, at rest, they have a negative charge associated with them. Interesting. And what happens is, if you want these muscle cells to contract, you need to turn that negative charge into a positive charge. And when it does so, it goes from negative to positive, it spreads that wave of charge change from one to the other very easily. We call this depolarization. Depolarization. This is when it goes from negative charge to a positive charge. And muscles won't contract unless this happens. So, knowing this now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a look at the heart and have a look at how this depolarization event or negative to positive charge change happens through the heart to tell it to contract. It all begins here. This area at the atria is a specialized type of tissue that we call the sinoatrial node, also known as the SA node. Now, sino is referring to sinus. It sets what we call the sinus rhythm. This is the pacemaker of the heart, sets the rhythm about 60 to 100 beats per minute. Now, at rest, it's negatively charged, right? But what it does is it spontaneously goes positive, like I showed you before. And if it spontaneously goes positive, it's gonna send a wave of positive charge throughout the muscle of the heart, specifically the muscle of the atria. Remember, two atria at the top, two ventricles down the bottom. This is the muscle associated with it. So, sinoatrial node muscle uh, tissue is negative. It then turns positive and sends a wave of positive charge through the atrial muscle in that manner. So it goes like this, spreads this positive charge through. Positive, 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 moving all the way through the atrial myocardium. Now, interestingly, if you do an EKG or an ECG, an electrocardiogram, where you put all these sticky electrodes on the hands, the feet, and across the chest, it picks up this charge change, right? That's what an e ECG or EKG does. And you get a number of leads, but often we have what we call the reference lead, which is often lead two. And lead two is usually looking at the heart with a point of view from here. So think of that as a set of eyes looking at the heart from the apex up towards the base. What do you see? If you were this particular lead looking at the heart, what you're doing is you're seeing that there's positive changes going in your direction. The muscle is becoming positive in the direction of that lead. And what you're going to find on an ECG or an EKG is that any time a positive charge goes towards you, remember we call it depolarization, you get a bump up on the lead. So firstly, nothing's happening. We've had nothing. Then the SA node spontaneously depolarized, sending that positive charge towards the lead, and you get a positive deflection on your ECG or EKG. That's the first thing. Then what happens is there's this fibrous tissue that separates the atria from the ventricles, and it stops this positive charge. So you get another flat line on the ECG. Then what happens is we have another specialized tissue similar to the SA node that sits here between the atria and the ventricles, which we call the atrioventricular node. The atrioventricular node, also known as the AV node. Now, this has a little pause, right? A little pause of around about 0.2 of a second, and that's why we have this little flat line. But then it sends this positive charge through specialized fibers. These specialized fibers are called the bundle of his. Bundle of his. And you may just refer to them as bundle branches. 
These bundle branches then branch off, right? And they're gonna branch off like this. And then the other one branches off like that through the heart muscle of the ventricles. And again, it's gonna send a wave of positive charges in this manner, like this, like this, like this, like this, like this, like this, like this. And as you can see, it sends the positive charge like that. So now what do you see? Is it going towards that lead or away from the lead? Well, predominantly what you're gonna find is on the left-hand side, it's all going towards that lead. And so what you're gonna find is you get a very big bump up, right? A very big bump, and you may be saying, but what about over here? This is going away from the lead. Well, what you're gonna find is the left-hand side of the heart, the left muscle, is four times thicker than the right. So it overwhelms the electrical activity on the left-hand side, overwhelms anything happening on the right-hand side. And so you get this huge spike up because this tissue is far thicker than this tissue. So more electrical activity and a big spike. Then what you have at the end is the electrical activity moving away from that lead. As you can see up here, and as you can see up here moves away from the lead, so you get a dip down, and then back to that charge again, that isoelectric point, no change. Now what's happened is the whole heart muscle has depolarized, it's all gone positive, and remember, any time it goes positive, it contracts. So when you had this bump up, it was immediately followed by those atria contracting, pushing the blood down. When you had this big bump up, the, it was immediately followed by the ventricles contracting, pushing the blood out. But the next thing is we need to reset the heart. We need to make it negative again. And to make it negative again, it goes in the opposite direction. Now, interestingly, because when you have a positive thing go in the direction of the lead, you get a bump up. What happens when you have a negative thing go in the direction of the lead? The opposite, a bump down. But then, if this is going in the opposite direction, you're gonna have a negative charge going away from the lead, which is also a bump up. So what you then get at the end is another little bump up, and this is the negative resetting of that heart. And now what we have is what you see on an ECG. You see the particular peaks and troughs associated with it, and they've all got different names. You've got the P wave, which, is representative of atrial depolarization. Atrial depolarization. You've then got the QRS waves, cumulatively known as the QRS complex. And this is ventricular, that when the ventricles depolarize, And then the last thing you have, what do you think it is? If it's P, Q, R, S, T wave, this is the resetting of the heart, making it negative again. If this is called depolarization, bringing it back is called repolarization. So this is ventricular repolarization. You might be thinking, where's atrial repolarization? It happened at the same time as ventricular depolarization and therefore is hidden behind this wave. And so what we have is the electrical activity of the heart. Remember, it goes SA node through the atria, contraction of the atria. AV node, bundle of his, and then it goes through these fibers which are called Purkinje fibers, we should label them. These fibers are all called Purkinje fibers. and then that's followed by ventricular contraction. And then the whole thing resets and that's called ventricular repolarization. This is the conduction of the heart.